Mr. Carr, when will the court of inquiry be held? Uh, we can't tell the exact time of it, uh, quite naturally now. The uh, FBI is working on their report uh, to the president. Uh, we're helping them in every way by making our files uh, on the local and state level available to them. And the uh, time of the court of inquiry in Texas will be determined to a substantial extent uh, by the uh, timing of the FBI report to the president. Do you expect it will be before Christmas? Well, uh, we certainly hope so. Uh, Mr. Wade and I have discussed this, and of course both of us are anxious to uh, do our duty in this regard as soon as possible, but uh, uh, we uh, would be doing a disservice to our state, we think, if we rushed into something uh, at the expense of uh, thoroughness or completeness or at the expense of cooperation with the FBI. Where will the court be held? Uh, we have discussed this also. We're now looking into the possibilities of uh, either uh, Dallas or Austin. Uh, but this decision has to be made after we look in and brief legal points involved in each case. And we hope to make an early announcement of that also. Well, inasmuch as, of course, for convenience of the witness, that Dallas would be better, is there is there a good, strong reason for possibly having the court in Austin? Well, we... Uh, I don't want to deal in speculation of it. Uh, we are going about this uh, in the most thorough manner we can. We have some legal problems involved uh, in either case. Uh, Mr. Wade says that uh, uh, whatever is decided as to between the two cities is all right with him, and certainly we want to cooperate with him in this because he's co-counsel. Uh, so I hope to have an announcement that we both can enter into soon. We have no no evidence at this time from any action uh, that the commission has taken. No or any, just, I'm, well, I'm finished. Uh, or from anything that has been said in our presence to indicate anything but a desire for a thorough and very thorough investigation. Uh, we uh, feel uh, at the present time that uh, the, the investigation is being conducted in a very vigorous way. Uh, that all of the investigative agencies of the federal government are being used effectively. And uh, I will say that uh, this impression was gained not only from talking with uh, uh, the uh, chairman of the commission, but also from talking with high officials of the Department of Justice, uh, with the White House, and uh, with J. Edgar Hoover. Uh, we believe that uh, from what we can determine now, and we should continue to be uh, in a position where we can determine if there's a let up in this, uh, that uh, the investigation will be complete and very thorough. Uh, we hope that it will be made public. We think it should be. I want to make it clear also that we uh, have made it clear in Washington that after we have cooperated with the Presidential Special Commission, if those of us in Texas feel that a Texas Court of Inquiry would uh, serve a useful purpose, we'll have no hesitancy in calling one uh, to further develop the facts. Uh, it is difficult to describe the uh, voluminous uh, material, the hundreds of rumors that must be chased down, the hundreds of leads, right or wrong, they must be proved right or wrong. Uh, some of these will take worldwide investigation. The important thing is that uh, the task is uh, being accomplished as quickly as possible. Uh, and we certainly wouldn't want to set any deadline on time if it meant uh, that we had to sacrifice thoroughness. There is one other element, and that is that, of course, anything the Commission does or anything we do uh, regarding the part of the case involving Mr. Ruby uh, must not, uh, by being made public or by in any way, be allowed to affect uh, the trial now pending here in Dallas. No, I don't recall any information about that at all. Uh, that uh, the only information given to the Warren Commission uh, and to us was that uh, uh, the FBI agents had, in the in the normal uh, routine of their office their responsibility, uh, contacted uh, the uh, people at the house where. Uh, Mr. Oswald and his wife lived and, and had gained the information that he was here. 
but had not uh, told the police about it. And I think that this uh, point uh, was very well pointed out in the Warren Commission report and in the Texas Supplemental Report and can be very easily corrected. Uh, matter of fact, it already has by the FBI and by the Secret Service. And I'm sure that uh, the future will show a much uh, greater uh, cooperation uh, between all levels of government and uh, law enforcement agencies, and that's very desirable. And, and uh, as I say, uh, probably, and I think it has already been corrected. Whether or not there were any omissions in the Warren Commission report that might show up in and Attorney General Carr's report. I have still not read all of the more than 800 pages of the Warren Commission report. Uh, I have certainly not detected any omissions uh, in the Warren Commission report. I think they were very uh, thorough and exhaustive uh, in their attempt to run down every facet uh, of the assassination. Obviously, there are some questions that uh, the Warren Commission re uh, report or the Warren Commission felt they could not categorically answer in the report. Uh, but this is understandable. I think, however, the, the report has been uh, generally accepted throughout the country. I think it reflects the thoroughness with which they went into it. And I think at least it has dispelled many of the rumors and the speculations that surrounded this, this very tragic event.